Hey guys, I'm just uh, <clears throat> on the way back from Bowling Green. Had a few meetings I uh, had to go to over there on some houses. And uh, I'm just on the uh, parkway right now heading back to a few jobs that we've got going on. Uh, over in Columbia, uh, I'm going to go by the uh, give you a little update on the modern farmhouse that we've been working on over the past few months. We are actually working on the... Uh, pool house now uh, got the trusses set yesterday uh, finally got all the concrete poured around the pool it's been raining off and on over the past week and a half two weeks it's about every other day it seems like it rains an inch two inches so we've been kind of delayed there so I'm gonna take you by that house show you what's going on with that uh, I've got another house and we just got the basement walls done on uh, couple weeks behind on that one as well because of the rain so I'll take you by that one and then we got some footers going in on that house uh, this afternoon uh, for the garage and the front porch area I'll take a quick video of that kind of show you what's going on there and then uh, we've got a few other houses coming up uh, we're getting ready to start on I've got a lake house uh, that we're meeting on Saturday over on Lake Cumberland uh, to about a 3,000 square foot uh, vacation home uh, on the main floor and then about another 20 some hundred square feet in the basement that will be finished out so um, as soon as we get going on those I'll have a video there and then uh, give you some details on those as well whenever we get closer to starting those go over the plans and details but uh, I'll see you here at the next house here in just a few minutes and uh, I'll take you a quick video and keep you updated on what's going on there see you Alright guys, we got this lake house, not lake house, excuse me, pool house we're doing over here at this modern farmhouse. Take you around the front and kind of show you what's going on. You can see all the concrete we poured over here for the pool area. Got a trade ceiling on the inside, bathroom, storage area. It's going to have a little dog kennel off the back. Guys, pressure washing Randy there. We're gonna have all the kitchen equipment showed up so we can frame in the kitchen area. And that's about it for right now. Guys coming later today to measure for the roofing. Standing seam metal roof on all that. And I'll take you around to our next project just here in a second. Here at the little tasty freeze, get me some uh, ice cream. It's about 78 to 80 degrees out today. Figured I'd go in between jobs and get a milkshake real quick. It's one of those little mom and pop shops, you know, that it's not a chain, so they've got some of the best ice cream around. So I'm gonna get me one of these and then I'll see you at the next job. I'll show you what I'm getting. I mean, when your menu is outside on a billboard and everything's handwritten and you don't order until you get up to the the actual window, that's mom and pop to me. Quick service, great products, great food. So this is what rural America is all about. I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, we're going over to this next project, the one we poured the basement on. We'll run over here and uh, check and see if the guys are doing the footers on the uh, garage and the front porch area. They should be doing the block on that. And once they get it poured, probably end of this week, first to next. But uh, I also do a little stock trading on the side. So I got to keep my Fox business going during the day whenever I'm in the car. So I can keep up to date on everything. So. What do y'all do as far as uh, y'all do trade stocks or anything like that? You know, if so, what's some of your favorite ones? I bought a lot of Tesla and Apple back whenever the market crashed back in the spring. So I'm uh, hoping those pan out pretty good in the long haul. But uh, like I said, I'm going to go down here and 
check out this other job. Whenever I get here, I'll uh, kind of show you what's going on there. All right, guys, here we are at this other job. Like I said, got the basement poured on it this week. Right through here is where the uh, garage is going to come out at. Kind of come out over here, kind of be pulling in straight right through here. And on that side over there, on that far wall is where the front porch is going to be be at. We're going to dig footers on that this afternoon. And while I was driving over here, stupid truck was going around the corner too fast and I had to take the ditch. So, ended up getting mud all over my car. So, I guess I'll be going by the car wash a little later. So, like I said, it's been raining this week like crazy, so water's standing everywhere. So, I'm gonna get out of here, come back whenever the guys show up do the footers, and then I'll uh, come back and help them with that. Then I'm gonna go and check on the farmhouse project again. I'm gonna pull in here to this job, see if uh, he's got going on anything yet. Doesn't look like he has started. Get out here and walk down the basement and show you what we've got going on down there. Get out of here, I'll show you what we got. As you can see, all the black you see right there, that's the uh, waterproofing we put along the wall. That's kind of like where the dirt level will be at. Keep any rain or surface water from getting into the concrete let's go down here in the basement i'll show you what it looks like so we got all the walls done there's going to be some plumbing uh come in over here there's going to be a bathroom down here and a drain for the mechanical hot water things like that and uh, a set of steps are going over there in that corner where it kind of bumps out and uh, go up to the main floor but yeah that's pretty much it right now plumber's going to start i think later this week down here as soon as the plumbing gets done we'll put uh plastic down for a moisture barrier and then we'll put uh, rebar about every two foot squares for uh, reinforcement. Then we'll pour the slab, be about five to six inches of uh, concrete for the floor. But other than that, that's pretty much it today. Um, I thought the guys were gonna be here already to do the footers. I think they said they got held up on another job, so it might be a little later this afternoon or first thing in the morning before they do that. So as soon as they do that, I'll come back and uh, kind of show you process on doing the porch footers and the uh, garage footers for this house so i'll see you again uh, tomorrow and like i said if you can just like and subscribe and uh, if you like this content just leave me a comment in the section down below and uh, you know if you want to see anything or got questions about building or uh, something you know you want to do on your own just let me know and i can uh, try to answer your question for you and uh, i'll see you on the next video